Hello everybody, this is James from Isotropic, and in this video I want to introduce and review a form plugin that my agency has been using for the past several months, something that we've been incredibly happy with, just a great product called WS Form. And WS Form is a relatively new entry to the WordPress Forms arena, and it goes head to head with Gravity Forms and WP Forms. In my opinion, and what I have created this video to show you, is the fact that I think WS Form beats out Gravity and WP and Formidable and all of the legacy competitors by a hefty margin. And I'm going to try to show you that through a back-end demo where I'm going to build a couple complex features. I'm going to take a look at the design of the plugin. I'm also going to discuss at least my agency's experience with the company behind the product. And I want to at least uh, expand the number of people who know what WS Form is. Um, if you check out the free version on the WordPress repository, you'll see that the number of installations is 100 plus. You'll see that the number of five star reviews is 42, and you'll see that there are no other stars reviews. It's all five stars. Um, and the quality of this product is unmatched. The support of this product is unmatched, and nobody knows about it. So hopefully this video is going to show you um, why you want to know about it and why you may even want to consider switching to it. Um, if you use the the description, there's going to be a table of contents where you can skip around to various sections of this review. Uh, this is an all-inclusive review of WS Form, so it's a pretty long one. I recommend that you use that table of contents to get to the parts that you know will best suit you. Um, and without any further ado, let's talk about the features and then load up the back end, load up some add-ons that I've installed and discuss the design and functionality. Okay, so I'm going to try to get you guys to the back end as quick as possible, but first I just want to discuss the main features that this form tool has to offer. Um, then we'll look at the back end and then we'll talk about pricing and competition. And you'll see if you get on their website, uh, there's an introductory video and there are a bunch of reviews by people who are actually pretty uh, well known throughout the, the WordPress community. So ACF, uh, Nexus, which is hosting, and a bunch of other companies. You've also, uh, they've also been reviewed on all of these websites as well as isotropic.co slash blog, which is our blog. So this is kind of like your main feature list. Um, and I was kind of skeptical with this claim uh, where they say other WordPress form plugins charge in excess of $450 per year for these features. But when I took a look at competition, and I'm going to do that in a later section of this video, I mean, they're not lying. They're, they're not lying. And the and I'm going to spoil it for you. The agency pricing here is $249 per year. Um, they're not lying. And they're offering all of these features at that price compared to other form plugins, which truly are charging $599 per year. And those are well-known form plugins that a lot of people use. So first, let's go really quickly and do like a speed run of everything, at least that I find notable. Um, the main thing for me is that there's an ACF integration, so it integrates with my advanced custom fields. What that means is that I can um, link different form inputs to specific ACF fields. That's really cool. Um, calculations, like you can do really advanced math problems and calculations with this tool. And previously, I mean, I've needed to build very advanced calculators, and I'm going to show you a calculator demo. Uh, when we talk about the back end, but there isn't a good WordPress solution to do calculated fields. Um, I think there's a free plugin on the repository that helps you do it, but that's kind of complicated. What this form plugin has in calculations is something that nobody talks about and is really important and really impressive. Um, you have dynamic variables, so you can pull uh, information from as well as custom data. Um, there's direct integration with Gutenberg, with Divi, uh, Beaver Builder, I believe Elementor is somewhere around here. Um, yep, Elementor. So there's that type of direct integration. It also works with a ton of third-party tools that everybody really kind of knows. So Google Analytics, uh, Google Maps API integration, Honeypot, so no spam. Um, and, and again, all of those page builders, including Oxygen. I know I'm a big... Uh, 
group of my visitors are oxygen builder users works perfectly with oxygen we use it on our site for all the forms which is built with oxygen it is accessibility friendly um, this is something that's really important with form plugins and most of them are but this one just gets it right um, so accessibility friendly something to consider um, and then I'm gonna wrap this this feature run through up very quickly but signature forms um, you got to pay other companies like a hundred bucks to get signature forms uh, repeaters that's crazy repeating fields the the capabilities with repeating fields where you have like a specific collection of fields that your user just can add additional um, instances of those fields to the to the form that makes things really powerful um, and then data sources you can pull from data kind of as I discussed with the dynamic variables but you can pull with data um, there's a lot of other th stuff that hopefully you will understand uh, why it makes it so amazing when I get into the back-end demo which is what is going to happen immediately right now look out here comes the back-end demo so you may notice that I haven't added any of the license keys here so I'm gonna be getting all these notices for the rest of the video but let's uh, just use one of the 100 included templates to give you a good understanding of why this thing is super powerful. And I'm going to hop into the back end as soon as I load one of these. And I think it should show you kind of the power that you get with this plugin. And these are like 100 plus demos and they will save you a ton of time if you need to do that. So I'm going to take a look at calculated fields. And very quickly, I'm going to see if I can open them in different tabs. Let's do a paycheck calculated field. So I'm going to create one of those. I'm also going to add four more. So as this gets created, and we're on a local environment, so it's a little slow, unfortunately. But as the calculated fields begins getting created, I'm going to also go ahead and make a Stripe Elements payment form or subscription form, let's say. I'm going to make a uh, post management form. So submit a post from the front end if that loads. And I'm going to, there we go. I think this is loaded. I'm going to do this and I'm going to, and if you notice in the post management, it sees all the custom fields that I have added and uh, or custom post types that I've added and notices that and I'm finally just gonna add a nice little survey okay so now I'm gonna hop into the back end of each of these and show you how it works and then show you the front end and what is outputted and unfortunately these are gonna be here because I'm too lazy to add all of those license keys so here's our paycheck and here's our main builder this is the uh, tool that you use to create um, your form and I'm actually going to show you it on the front end as well so I'm going to just publish it and then also preview it and that's going to show it to me on the front end of my site and I'm using oxygen so I first want to skip my tutorial and hopefully it will show up on our front end there we go and here is our form uh, and here's our form back end so in the front end this is what it does we're just going to calculate uh, our paycheck per week so we're going to utilize all of these unique form fields and calculated fields on the back end form to get this main front end form. You may notice this nifty uh, setup down here and this is the debugging tool um, which is incredibly helpful when you're building a form and you want to do uh, unique things with it. So I want to show you how this form works on the front end and then show you it broken down on the back end which should give you a good understanding of the interface that is used to create these forms so first with this debugging tool I'm just gonna populate random variables into it um, and you will notice that we have now created a incredibly complex uh, form automatically updating paycheck calculator um, so this is just something that this form tool allows us to build and let me get rid of this real quick so you can see it automatically updates so as I change things uh, the information will change as well hopefully uh, one of these days I'll be making $1,200 per hour and my nice net income will be a measly five million two hundred thirty one thousand dollars but uh, it's kind of cool 
in the fact that it's automatically updating with all of this information we can do a ton of different calculations here uh, and it's a it's a complex form so if we go back to our debugging tool if i get there we go if we go back to our debugging tool we can see all of this information um, we can also easily access the editing capability in the submissions tool and then we can see a log of all the events that we just messed around with and it will give us um, all the green events mean that something worked uh, all the yellow events are just warnings so because my uh, hourly wage was blank and I tried to submit it it didn't work and that's what this is telling me and then if you have an issue uh, so say you have a compatibility issue with another plugin just find the red section and it will say here's the problem and here's how to fix it so this kind of unique debugging tool is something that only this form plugin has uh, which is kind of a repeating uh, a repeating pattern with this tool it has a ton of features that nobody else has made because all the legacy form competitors are happy with where they're at and this new guy needs to compete with them so it needs to be better um, so hopefully I can show you that it's better so this is just one of the forms uh, let's take a look at the back end and see how they made it uh, and again you can access this demo through the link in the description you can also access this form when you purchase the plugin whatever version uh, you get access to all 100 plus demos so if we're building our form we notice that there are a couple main things we have tab functionality so we can add multiple tabs to our form then we have individual sections which help us classify uh, each specific section of the form and then we also have columns and we can break these down even further into specific areas so you'll notice that um, I have five major breakpoints here and I can just expand it and at this breakpoint uh, anything greater than 992 I can apply a specific styling rule and then if we go down you'll notice that the default setting is normal up until here and then if I break it down to the mobile it collapses to a mobile view um, so if you're trying to build responsive form plugins with the capability of easily adding sections and columns uh, this is the tool for you I mean this is the best builder in the industry hands down especially when you compare it to older offerings like gravity forms this this interface is just a joy to work with um, to add new fields you just drag and drop like that so I'm just gonna add a random text field here uh, and then I can resize our field just like that um, so when we actually want to change what this field does and how it interacts with the rest of the content we go into the settings everything's done here for our standard text field we have all of these different options so accessibility help text placeholder we can show or hide the label we can make it a required field um, the cool thing here is that the default value can be a calculated value like this so I can just add random uh, numbers. So if I did 14 times seven and saved that and then published it on our preview, we should see 14 times seven show up on our newly added field, 98, just like that. Um, we can also stop messing around with that and incorporate um, placeholders so we can include uh, form fields we can also include advanced custom fields we can also include WordPress data so for example all of this information uh, and this is something that's really just just mind-blowing to me the fact that we can expand the functionality of our form just like this and there are a ton of fields that come with this tool and you can see as I scroll through them uh, if you if you want to pause the video, you'll you'll be able to see that there's just a ton of different things here, um, and this is just your basic section. And we can just add normal stuff. And if you're a a non power user who just wants a nice form plugin, you can just use it as this as well. You don't even have to touch the advanced features. Um, then under the advanced features, and this changes for each different field type, but this is for your standard text field. We can set up pattern recognition, uh, input masks. Um, no submission duplicates, invalid text, our breakpoints, which can also be, as I showed you, uh, physically manipulated as well, and uh, a couple other things. And then we can go to our data list and select a data source, um, pulling data from specific things and populating it into the field.
and this is helpful if we want to include fields and and we can use this uh with a a normal field but we can also populate the data into the field and keep it hidden uh, and then use that data to set like conditional um, visibility rules conditions uh, calculations stuff like that so that's kind of like the interface I want to say hopefully this gives you a good understanding of the power but also the simplicity that comes with it um, it's pretty easy to understand and even if you don't uh, have a ton of experience with WordPress it will kind of walk you through you can see here it will walk you through all of the information that you need to know to accurately use these features that this tool has to offer so you can see it's it's uh, and and I find it difficult to kind of explain the power that comes with this plugin um, this is a single text field this is the most basic input field in all of HTML and with this tool we can integrate it to literally any type of data in our WordPress instance we can build even more complex WordPress websites with ACF plus this tool plus front-end submission we can create calculated fields um, we can we can add uh, help text that automatically updates we can auto-complete things based on a data list. list. Um, the, <laughs> the, 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 uh, the functions go on and on. The utility is easy to use, as you can see. We can just mess around and move things around. And this is just one form. Um, now let's take a look at the other three forms that I quickly loaded. And I'm going to try to go through this a little quicker. Hopefully you understand that this is a really well-designed and easy-to-use form plugin in the back end. Um, let's take a look at these other two and then get into the pricing of it. And uh, here we have our Stripe subscription form. This integrates directly with Stripe um, and we, we will need to go ahead and configure Stripe, which I'll show you how to do um, right after taking a look at the preview here. And I want to skip my tutorial. And here's just your standard stri Stripe subscription where it ca captures your payment information. And I don't know if it will. Yeah, I haven't configured Stripe, so I would need to do that. Uh, here's another form, oh, same form. Here's another form, post management. So front end submissions of posts, users can just um, enter information and it will create a new post for you. Uh, I think most form plugins have this, but here we can see if you're trying to submit front end posts. And uh, here's another, Oh, actually, here's the same post management, and this is good because I wanted to show you um, these categories are populated by a data source called terms, and we just pull in our category term, and it will show every category on the site. And we can limit it. We can set different rules for that. Um, there are a bunch of things that we can do here. And the final form is just your, your basic survey form, um, your nice little form. And you'll see it's just made out of radio boxes. And I wanted to load this because I want to show you, um, again, the responsive building capabilities of this tool. So we see all of these are one, two, three, four in a list. Um, let's break it down and do this and see how that looks. There we go. Uh, and now. And you'll notice that this automatically updates as I edit. Ta-da! We have created different columns. So I, I think that just shows you it's very easy to create responsive forms. Um, the final thing I'm going to go through in this back-end demo, and then we're going to take a look at the settings for some of these add-ons, is the conditional logic. Um, so if I want to show something based on conditional logic, I can do that very easily by going to here conditional logic uh, creating a condition and then we have if then else and this is essentially complex programming made non-complex via just giving you all of the options that you need so you have different events you have different validation tools um, you can set uh, your standard conditional logic so if strongly agree is checked in question four then we will show do you have any suggestions and I'm gonna just save that really quickly and I say strongly agree I believe um, I'm gonna go here and just show you how that works so 
Oh, I, I don't know if uh, I did it. Oh, there we go. I need to set the visibility. So I'm going to just set our visibility. And this should give you a good understanding of the nice conditions that we have. So I say strongly agree or agree. And then our field shows up. Um, and then also in the debug tool, everything's logged like that and perfect. So that just shows you everything that happened. It shows you the conditional visibility feature. Um, we can also create actions. So on the submission of this form, it will save it into our database. Uh, we can view all our submissions here. It will show us a message. It will show the visitor a message and it will send an email to both us and the submitter. And uh, here's our just submissions available. And if a new submission is added, um, it will show up. Let's submit this form. It will show up right here. Like this. And uh, viewing it, just your standard view. You can see the user duration. You can set other advanced analytics through Google Analytics. Uh, and you can also export as a CSV once your database grows. And then here's our um, submission action, which would be the show message action. Uh, and then we can also add a bunch of different actions. There are a ton of them. So we can export them to our add-ons. We can run JavaScript. We can run a WordPress hook. Um, and this is stuff that gets like super complex. And uh, if you're really trying to build a WordPress website that utilizes user input to display and complete and, and do certain conditions, uh, WS Form is, is built for that. But again, I want to stress that the backend's easy enough to use, so if you have no idea what a, a div is, you have no idea what a um, what a header tag is, what a meta tag is, if, if you don't understand how the internet works and you can manipulate a mouse, you can still use this tool. But if you're also a professional developer, you can still use this tool, but you can actually take advantage of all the features that it has to offer. Um, so that's kind of kind of the 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 inner workings of this plugin. And again, there's a link to the demo version of the tool in the description where you can poke around as well. The final thing I'm going to go into before talking about pricing and competition is the various settings that we have for all of these add-ons that I have installed but have not entered my information for. And here's our, our simple information for the plugin. So what I'm trying to show you with this settings and backend demo is the sheer power that you have with this form building tool there are a ton of settings but they're presented in a very easy to understand way and because they're presented in this manner um, here you can see statistics because they're presented in this manner uh, you can build really complex things with this tool without needing to know any PHP without needing to know any JavaScript it does it for you if you are a developer you can access incredibly advanced features um, by simply utilizing the built-in backend dashboard. Um, here again, we can change all of our styles. And if a form was here, it would, it would uh, style it in real time. Oh, there is a form here. Look at that. Uh, so we can change all of our styles like so. And I mean, there's just a ton of a ton of things to be done here. So um, to close this section and to get into the pricing section, this is a super powerful form and hopefully the pricing section will show you that this form is even more powerful um, just due to the the value that it has to offer on its on its own, but also the value that it has when compared to competing products. Okay, now that we've taken a look at the features and the backend design and a couple things that we can do with this plugin, let's take a look at the pricing and understand where it falls with competition uh, and also a couple quirks of this company's pricing structure. So you have your standard three tier pricing structure. A lot of other form plugins have this, a lot of other WordPress plugins have this. Um, for a personal license, it comes in at $59 per year. Freelance is $149 per year and agency is $249 per year. Something that's really cool about this company and something that many other form plugins don't do is the fact that you're locked into the price that you pay on the first year and it will renew at this price until you end up canceling your plan. So 
for other companies, and we're going to take a look at this in a bit, uh, if you purchase a form plugin, it may be $59 per year, but this is an introductory rate that is only paid for the first year. When you go to renew your plugin, it will renew at the full price, and maybe that would be $99, who knows. With this plugin, you buy it at $59 per year as a personal license, and it will renew at $59 per year for the rest of your ownership of that license. So that's something to consider here. It's not going to jump uh, by $200, $300 on the second year or the third year. It's going gonna, it's gonna to remain standard at what you purchase it at. Okay, let's look at what each of these plans have to offer. I'm going to start with agency uh, because that's the plan that we have. So agency right now, January 2021, is $249 per year. Um, I don't expect them to increase this price because since I've owned this plugin, since I've known of this plugin, it has remained at $249 per year. All of them have. Um, with the agency plan, you get unlimited site licenses, agency support, and all of the add-ons included. With the freelance license, it's a five-site license, and you get add-ons that have primarily to do with payment processing and email marketing. So these are integrations to email marketing. Uh, and then with the personal license, you have a personal single site license, normal support, um, but you also have access to everything in the form plugin, but you don't have access to any of the add-ons. To get the add-ons, you would need to go ahead and purchase them, which is a yearly price. Um, and you can see that there are a ton of add-ons right here. Um, depending on your use case, I would say uh, if you need a bunch of add-ons, agency is by far the, the best price for you. Um, if you are a single site license user and only need one license, it may make sense to go 59 per year and look at just pur purchasing an additional add-on, something like that. Um, all of these add-ons, as I showed you in the back end, are really powerful, really well designed, but also super easy and simple to use. They also integrate directly with the plugin. Uh, so as you saw on the back end demo, you can just go ahead and use um, those, those specific features directly from the back end. Now I'm going to attempt to compare this form to the two main competitors that I see for it, which is WP Forms and Gravity Forms. So these are two older companies that offer a form plugin solution for WordPress. I like calling them legacy form solutions because we're seeing actually a lot of new entries into this market. So you kind of have these older companies that are needing to compete with new companies like WS Form. Um, so let's see price-wise and feature-wise how these companies compete. First, this is kind of what I was talking about with the renewal stuff. If you purchase the Elite License for $299, it will renew at $599 after the introductory period. So that's really something that you need to consider when looking at at least WP Forms. I don't believe Gravity does this. With um, the agency license in WP Form, which is the co comparable one to Elite with W or WS Form, it's the comparable one to the Elite license with WP Forms. They're going to renew you at 249 for the rest of your life as long as you hold the license and don't let it lapse. That's something that should really be considered from a financial standpoint because you know what you're going to be paying, you know the features that you're going to get. It's just it's an important thing to note. Okay, let's take a look at kind of like your pricing tiers and compare these tiers and what you get. Um, on the lower end of things, $59 per year for a personal license is comparable to kind of like a mixture of the plus and basic features that you get here. Um, you'll notice that this lower license doesn't include any add-ons. This uh, medium license does include some add-ons. It includes uh, Primarily, it includes pretty much everything related to newsletters with WP Forms. With the personal one, you're going to need to purchase an add-on if you want to get add-ons. There's no bundled add-ons with this lower tier pricing. Um, but I think if we take a look at the pricing of the add-ons and you are using like a single mailing list solution, 
$59 plus say you're going to go with active campaigns, $59 plus $19 per year is still less than $99 per year. And especially when you consider the fact that it renews at $79, the fact that it renews at $199. So I think that off out of the bat uh, or off the bat or whatever that saying is, uh, there's already a clear value differentiation between WP and WS with your personal license. It's just cheaper and it offers the same features. And at least in my opinion, it's easier to use on the back end and more powerful. Um, so that's kind of covering these two licenses. There's a little crossover, I want to say, between 99 and 199 and your freelance license, which comes in at $149 per year. And that's because this one integrates pretty much everything uh, that this one does in regards to email marketing. But it also has your payment integrations, which are, um, I believe, to be PayPal and only PayPal. I thought I included Stripe, but it doesn't. So it includes PayPal here too. So I think this one kind of goes head to head with maybe Pro, but also it beats out Plus. I think it goes head to head with Pro. Um, depending on what you're trying to do, again, I think they've priced this perfectly because it's at $149 per year. You get these base plugins. And then if you need a specific functionality for $149, you can extend it. So let's say, we want um, post submissions or user registration, either one of them. Let's find that here and see what that price comes out to be at the end of the day. So post management, it comes out to be $29 per year. So we add 29 to 149, we're still coming in under this pro license. So I think that comparison really um, hits home. And then the final one, and again, because this is a four tier license, we kind of fall with the agency plan that WS offers in between the WP Elite and Pro. But I think it really goes head to head with Elite because it offers all of your, um, every single one of the add-ons that come with WS. So everything here, everything that you see here is included in the agency license. And that's the license that we have and it really offers you a ton of value. So you'll see that um, you have access to pretty much everything uh, with the $249 price that comes with the introductory $299 or the normal $599 price. Um, so feature-wise, I think WS Form, especially when you're looking at the higher-end licenses, just beats out WP Forms um, in terms of what they have to offer. Now let's take a look at Gravity. I think this is a closer comparison. I'd say that WS beats um, WP pretty much in every metric. With Gravity, very similar pricing here, um, except so $59.59, except these two agency and freelance licenses are actually cheaper than these two licenses. Um, and I think that WS Forms beats out Gravity Forms on the upper license tiers. Um, but then with the basic license, you may get more value with Gravity depending on what you're trying to do. So Gravity includes basic add-ons, which include the email marketing, stuff like that. So if you're looking for email marketing, uh, that's something to consider. And then when we get to the upper licenses with the elite add-ons, um, then that's also included in your agency and we have all of these features here. Again, Gravity offers add-ons that you can purchase um, separately, I believe. Let's check and make sure that's the actual case here. Or maybe it's not. Okay, now let's talk about Gravity Forms compared to WS Form. So these are the same three tier license structure where you have, if I can zoom out enough, you have your typical pricing so 59 and 59 both for a single site license 149 versus 159 this one offers a five site license ws form uh, compared to gravity's three site license and then finally we have our agency which is ten dollars cheaper than the elite license and it offers all of the add-ons um, where this one offers all of the add-ons as well. So let's take a look at the add-ons. One thing I want to mention very quickly is the fact that with Gravity, 
to get access to their add-ons, you need to purchase a license tier. So you can't go and find an add-on and say, oh, I really like the polls add-on. Let me add that to my site. Unfortunately, you'll need to go ahead and purchase the elite license. Um, so you need a valid elite license for this, this add-on to work. Say with WS, you have a freelance license, but you see, oh, I really want to generate PDF reports from these forms to send to my customers. Instead of having to upgrade for that license, you can just go ahead and find the PDF add-on and say, oh, for $39 per year, it makes more sense to add to the freelance license because I don't need all of these add-ons additionally. So that's something to consider. And it gets even more beneficial, I think, this pricing structure where you can purchase um, add-ons that you're actually going to use and not have to upgrade an entire license when you're when you only have a single site and you have a specific use case for this forms plugin and you really want say I want to be able to generate PDFs I want to be able to add new posts from the front end but I don't want to pay for an agency license let me just pick up those two additional licenses which makes it comparable at least for you to the gravity forms elite license except you're only paying like 120 bucks a year compared to their 259 per year so I think with this pricing structure WS form definitely beats out um, if you're going and comparing sheer head-to-head -head, I think basic license for gravity just gives you more because of the basic add-ons um, but at the same time when we get to the pro and elite license they become very comparable price wise and feature wise um, except for the fact that you can kind of pick up that that extra add-on the one add-on that you know you're going to use uh, and just add it to one of the form plugins so I really like this pricing structure I think it makes it a lot more accessible to people um, especially if you're going for the personal license and you have a specific use case that you know you want to process payments and you know you want to um, perhaps generate your PDF report uh, and to do the same thing with gravity it would be 159 to do the same thing here it would be 59 plus um, 29 plus 29 so I think it comes out to be a, a better deal price wise so that's kind of WP forms and gravity forms compared to WS form and I really like the pricing structure that this company follows um, as an agency you quite simply cannot be the $249 per year price you have access to all of the add-ons all of the future add-ons you get locked into your $249 per year price so even if they raise prices in the future you're still grandfathered in on this plan so I think when they say best deal and you see best deal on some of these pricing structures and you're like that's not the best deal when you look at the WS form pro agency price that is the best deal I mean if you're an agency um, when you look at everything else, I mean, if you're a personal user and you need a specific functionality, instead of having to opt for a super high price and get access to every add-on, but when you only want one add-on, it doesn't make sense. I think with this $59 per year license, plus just the ability to plug and play any of these integrations, I think it, it makes a lot of sense. So WS Form. I think compared to competition, and that's what the title of this video is, and that's why I wanted to do this review, WS Form beats them. I mean, they beat them feature-wise, they beat them design-wise, um, they beat them support-wise, which is the next section of this video, and they, they just, I think, offer more value in pretty much all use cases, maybe 90% of use cases, WS Form wins out. So um, now that we've gone over pricing, let's get into our final um, section of this video review, which is going to go through the support that the company offers, the company itself, and then the future prospects for the form. So I'm going to get right into it. And uh, I think this is my favorite part of the video because I can um, compliment the team behind the plugin. Okay, so I am in the My Account tab to begin this section on the support that WS Forum has to offer their subscribers. And the reason I'm here is because I think this gives you a great view, an overview of the support that they have to offer. So um, I requested a Send in Blue mailing list integration, and this is my request. And I requested this maybe a month ago or a month and a half ago. 
And the reason I requested this is because on my personal blog, I use WS Form to capture emails. And I really like Sendinblue. It's a low cost uh, mailing solution. And it's just a great company. They did not have Sendinblue mailing integration. And that's probably because this is a smaller company than the other ones like GetResponse and uh, Constant Contact. So I wasn't really expecting them to add this to Sendinblue. And I was just pushing all the contacts to a Google Sheet, which worked more than fine. I, I requested this. It had a single vote. And guess what? If we go to our add-ons and scroll down to the S section, they have added Sendinblue specifically for that request. So I think that this kind of shows how the company operates. They listen to their customers. Um, they are a smaller company, so they can offer really personalized custom support. I've spoken to the lead developer with questions and I've gotten answers in mere minutes. Um, the support that this company has to offer is truly the best in the game. And I think if we go to and I'm doing this live, so I might be wrong. But if we go to the free contact form by WS Form entry on WordPress, on the plugin repository, we will be able to see every five-star review has information regarding the support. So you, you know that people are, support has been top-notch and fast, um, excellent service and quick bug fixes. Uh, so the support behind this plugin is, is truly um, the best in the industry. So this is the actual company behind WS Form. It's called WestGuard Solutions, and they are a digital solution creator, I want to say, based in Louisiana. And they are a completely United States team, um, meaning that for people based in the States, for developers based in the States, you get really clear communication and you get really prompt communication during the work week. So as an agency, when we find something that we need or we find something that we have a question about, reaching out to the support um, will yield answers quickly. And we won't have to wait for two days and put a project on hold. They'll, they'll answer us and we'll be able to continue with our development of the WordPress website. So the support is really the best in the game, I have to say. Um, and the final thing I'm going to take a look at regarding support, and I want to see if I can find it live, is the change log. So let me see if I can quickly find our change log. And I want to show you WS Form Pro change log. I want to show you really the speed at which these guys increase or, or change and fix and, and better the form. Um, the change log is incredible if I can find it. So here's the change log for the repository version of WS Form. And this accurately mirrors the WS Form Pro change log. And the thing I want to illustrate here is that literally every single day, I have a new update a minor update but a new update that adds an additional feature so you see added added they're already testing for PHP 8 even though it won't need to be supported for probably a year they continuously add additional features to this plugin every day they also fix issues that users have found and reported in literal hours so they will ship the change and the update um, in literal hours and I love this style of development and I wish more developers did this where they they ship changes as they make them and this means that you are buying into a product that is getting better literally every single day um, and one thing to note is that these aren't huge security changes and these aren't breaking changes um, these are just changes that add to the functionality of the plugin if you don't want to update you don't have to update but when you do update eventually, you'll have all of these changes made. And you can see that there's just a ton of um, additions to this plugin. And they listen to their users and they change things that people say, oh, maybe this is could be designed better. Maybe this could be made more usable. Or maybe uh, you should fix this. We found an issue um, and we need we need a bug fix. And they do this. They do this every day. I get an update every single day. Um, some of these changes have been requested by me and implemented literally an hour after I requested it. So um, it's just something to consider the fact that this company is an active development company. 
this company is one that is on top of their game and they're just changing it and making it better every single day so and one other thing i didn't even notice this active installations is 100 plus i cannot believe that um the the quality of this form builder even in the free version but specifically related to the paid version the quality and the functionality and the head-to-head -head, uh that these guys go up against i mean i mean they beat the the legacy form builders out there um it's just something to really be commended and uh it's a great it's a great product Okay, so to wrap this video up, WS Form, as I said in the beginning, goes head to head with legacy form competitors like Gravity and WP, and I, I think it comes out on top. And I've used probably five major form plugins in the past, and this is by far the best form plugin I have ever used. Um, and this is not only due to the features that it comes with, not only due to the um, the easy to use backend dashboard not only due to the ton of integrations with native wordpress features as well as third party email tools payment tools stuff like that this is due to the company behind it being incredibly responsive to their customers um, consistently improving their product literally every day and the fact that the pricing um, when looking when you look at the price compared to other companies out there this is probably the best value you can get in a form plugin. Um, then just compound everything else that I talked about in this video. And I think this is an incredible tool. I think it's one of the best plugins, one of the best companies creating plugins in WordPress now. And it, it really surprised me that at least in the free version of the tool, there are only a hundred plus installations. So uh, people, need to, people need to know about this tool. Hopefully this video will at least introduce some of you to WS Form. I recommend clicking the link in the description below. Uh, that will get you to this website and it will get you to a demo of this tool that you can then use to uh, go through that installation process, go through that setup process, mess around with all of those 100 plus templates, mess around with the advanced features that you see playing on this video reel right here. Um, I mean, it's this is just this is just a tool that I can't say enough good things about, uh, and and I think that you need to see it to believe it. So uh, definitely take a look at WS Form. I give it my highest recommendation. My agency, my my developers, uh, even my designers and clients love using this, just because of the simplicity, but also the super complex features that you can create with it. So um, something to consider check out the agency subscription in my opinion that's the best value it gives you all the add-ons uh and and give it a, give it a look so uh hopefully this was a helpful video if it was um drop a subscription drop a thumbs up we do a ton of wordpress oriented tutorials uh reviews check out the isotropic.co blog check out the written review of ws form uh by us linked in the description below it covers a couple of different things. It was written uh, two months ago. I figured I'd do this video review now to hopefully show more people this tool. And uh, until the next video, I won't see you. And in the next video, I will see you.